Today we want to have a closer look at Lamborghini's LMDH program. Today in Goodwood, Lamborghini presented first information on their new SC63 race car. Originally, it was planned that Lamborghini uses Porsche's LMDH concept to reduce costs and to be able to share information between both brands. But since LMDH prototypes are a lot cheaper than LMH cars, Lamborghini decided to design their own car. More information on the difference between LMH and LMDH and the background of how we got there in my other video. So in LMDH you choose one of four chassis manufacturers, use your own engine and the rest of the key components including hybrid system are standard parts. So instead of also using Multimatic as chassis manufacturer and the 4.6 liter V8 engine with hot V, Lamborghini decided to team up with Ligier the only chassis manufacturer who didn't have a customer so far. They then designed a new 3.8 liter V8 by Turbo with a cold V. So turbochargers are hanging outside of the engine, which reduces the center of gravity and is easier to cool. But at the same time, it's not such an elegant and compact package like the Porsche. Lamborghini is using eight radiators for the car and hence needs a lot of intakes. And we will talk about aerodynamics in a minute. They have two main water radiators, two intercoolers, presumably air to air, one gearbox radiator, one condenser for the aircon, one radiator for the hybrid system and one for the stability system. If we look at aerodynamics, we can see that they have pretty much space for through flow underneath the nose. These LMDH cars don't drive the front axle, which gives them more space here. Lamborghini then created a side pod with a double intake. It looks like one is far forward and hidden, the other one is further back and on top of the side pod. Similar to the Lickenhaus, the guess would be that the later one is for the intercoolers. At the side, they use a large Naker duct which should remind us of the Countach. They use a shark fin and a large double element rear wing. Because only one bodywork configuration is allowed, they chose a pretty huge rear outlet to be able to cope with every weather. For more details on the car, we will have to wait for the first tests. So it's not a surprise that also Lamborghini shows the much cheaper LMDH category for the endurance racer. But surprising is that Lamborghini did not choose to use the already developed and tested Porsche concept. Instead, Lamborghini wants to go their own way. They chose the only free chassis manufacturer Ligier, who can now fully concentrate on Lambo instead of being second priority at Multimatic behind Porsche. They developed their own 3.8 liter V8 engine, which is a bit smaller than the competition. Their bodywork is a mixture of function and design and doesn't show too many surprises. And timing is another factor here. Most competitors already have one year of experience and were experienced with similar projects before. Also, the Lambo project seems to be a bit behind, since they want to compete in Le Mans 2024, but cannot finish the car until the 24 hour race in Daytona in January. But we don't need to worry because their driver lineup includes Kwiat and Grosjean. So what do you think about the new Lamborghini SC63 hypercar? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.